we've come to a small seaside town in the south of England to talk to the older generation about their lives before technology and how they use it now. I was lucky enough to sit down with a few of the residents of a retirement community to learn more about their way of life and if their values differ from ours in this modern digital world. If you can just tell me your name and your age. I'm Hetty and I'm 93. I'm Gwenda and I was 90 years old. George, I'm 93. I was born in 1924. I'm Margaret and I'm 86. I'm Betty and I'm 86. Still a baby, aren't I? Just a baby, yes. What was life like before mobile phones? Well, I thought it was fantastic. Oh, it was different before phones. You got in contact more, you, you visited people more, they came to visit you more, you opened a letter. You had sort of real friends then, everybody enjoyed one of the company. No, it was much different, much nicer, I think. I think we lose out a lot with having mobile phones. I've got a friend and the first day we met she sat in front of me at school. We were both 11 and I still communicate with her. In fact, I wrote to her last Friday. <laughs> <laughs> What's good about receiving a letter instead of like an email? Well, it's the friend comes to life to you. You know, you see what she looks like. You see her handwriting, you recognise that. And it tells you something about her the fact that she's remembered you. Where do you think things are heading in the future? Yeah. I dread to think. I think we'll all end up as robots. They're wasting their lives away. They're missing all the everything around them. People delve into their own world and they're not aware of the people outside of themselves. If they've come to talk to you, why not talk to you? Why be on your phone all the time? This is a dating app. This is Tinder. So this is a picture of a person, and if I like that person, I can swipe one way to say yes, I can swipe another way to say no. And if I swipe to say yes, there's a chance that I can meet that person. And that's how people meet now. Well, aren't they missing something? They've got, missing? Be, they've got a result for that. I can't see how that's genuine. They've got a five second or five minute talk with them, and they move on. <laughs> I'd find something that he did and enjoyed, and I made sure I was there. There's no technique to it, you just chat them up, if you like to call it that now. In person? Yes, person to person. Makes a good life is to really get to know people, and you don't give yourself completely to a man until you know that it's going to be something more serious. Otherwise, what's the use? Far better bumping into somebody in the street. Do you have a mobile phone yourself? I do. How would you describe it? I can't do without it. I'm getting into new technology bit by bit. I've got my bar and I've got a computer. Previously I had a brother who died and left me just a little bit of money. And I thought, how can I remember, what can I buy to remember him? And that's when I bought my first computer and I named it Albert. Last year, I had to go into hospital in August and I didn't get back home until the 30th of December and that phone kept me in touch with everybody. I enjoy being on the iPad more than the phone because I can express myself better. If the thing I'm talking about, I can go on to something called GIF and I can send a picture with it. Somebody's cross about something, I was send a scary picture sort of like that. <laughs> or if my, my daughter was going on holiday to Brittany a little while ago and I said, have a good journey, and I sent a lovely boat going across the ocean. So. It's fantastic. Super, isn't it? Really marvellous. Have you ever taken a selfie? No. Do you know what a selfie is? Yes, hold it in front and take a picture. Do you want to take your <laughs> first ever selfie? I'm not photogenic at all. <laughs> you didn't smile in it. I know. Can I try another one? <laughs> no. Okay. It'll take a picture of you. Of yourself. Oh my god. Cool <laughs> day with me. <laughs> you have to smile. Should we take a selfie together? <laughs> yes, oh, that'd be, be yeah. nice. Good. Yeah. Lovely. I've got the photographs of everybody there. 
I got photographs of the wife. Speak to her every day, say goodnight to her every day. Do you ever wish that you had this technology earlier in life? Yes. I would have done more at school. I can learn the language on it, you see, if I want to. So I would have done that. Mm, yes, I'll probably miss out on that. Yeah. Uh, I, just can't, I just can't grasp it. I'm going to ask you one last question. If you had a piece of advice to pass on to younger people, so what advice would you give people? To keep a friendship, keep your promises, and just love everybody if you can. Remember, they want you to love them. What, what advice would you give to someone? The same as you did when you said look up. Love that. <laughs> Conversation with people, if you want to make friends with people, face to face. Make face to face is better than doing something than that. And then in 94, 93, I would say that, wouldn't I? <laughs> Life before phones seems so peaceful, simple and just more genuine. If you made a plan, you had to stick to it because there was no way to let them know you weren't going to be there. The values these guys have for happiness are based around honesty, keeping promises and love. As simple as that. <laughs>